what medications are used to treat Alzheimer's disease? Currently, in the United States, for example, there are four drugs that are approved by the FDA or Food and Drug Administration for the treatment of Alzheimer's disease. These drugs are in two different classes. One class focuses more on the memory symptoms of Alzheimer's. This class is called the acetylcholinesterase inhibitors. Now that's a big word, but it's important to know because the, the chemical acetylcholine is basically a chemical involved with memory processes in the brain. These drugs, these three drugs, actually try to increase the levels of acetylcholine in the brain to try to help with memory function. The three drugs in this class are called denepazil, galantamine, and rivastigmine. The other class of drugs is different and is in the title of NMDA antagonist medication. Now that's a big word, but again, NMDA signifies the type of brain chemical that this drug works on. This drug is different because it's FDA approved for use in combination with one of the prior acetylcholinesterase drugs and is only indicated for the moderate and severe stages of Alzheimer's disease dementia. The generic name for this drug is called memantine. These drugs are currently thought of as the gold standard of care. What does that mean? It means that these drugs are used by physicians on a very regular basis. However, it's important to note that these drugs really only have modest effects. The evidence certainly supports their use, and in my practice, I use them frequently. However, we have to temper expectations because these drugs have only really been shown to potentially help or delay somewhat of a, a potential decline by a period of six to nine to 12 months. We still keep people on these drugs, but it's important to understand that these are for symptomatic benefit only and are not protective and do not give any disease modifying potential. And finally, it's very important to realize that with all drugs, there are potential for side effects. So for example, in the first set of drugs, the cholinesterase inhibitors, taking these drugs on an empty stomach can cause a lot of gastrointestinal side effects. For example, nausea, diarrhea, and vomiting. So it's important to start at low doses, go slow and increase with the doctor's supervision, of course, and of course, take with a meal when possible. So it's important to understand there are treatments for Alzheimer's, there are available options, but unfortunately at this time, they only lead to generally modest benefits.